Hey there, fitness enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of muscle soreness. Have you ever wondered why your muscles feel achy and tender after a tough workout? Well, get ready to uncover the secrets of understanding muscle soreness. Muscle soreness, my friends. Is that delightful sensation you feel when your muscles cry out for attention after a vigorous workout? It's like a badge of honor, reminding you that you put in the effort and challenged your body. But what exactly is muscle soreness and why does it happen? Muscle soreness, also known as delayed onset muscle soreness DOMS, is the discomfort and tenderness you experience in your muscles following an intense or unfamiliar exercise routine. It typically occurs within 24 to 48 hours after the workout, peaking at around 72 hours. Imagine this. You've just completed an intense leg day workout. The next day, you wake up, step out of bed, and suddenly feel a wave of soreness in your quads and glutes. It's that deep, satisfying ache that reminds you of the hard work you put in. That, my friends, is muscle soreness. Now, Let's dive deeper into the sensation itself. Muscle soreness can manifest as a dull ache, stiffness, or even a tightness in the affected muscles. It's like your muscles are saying, Hey, we're adapting and growing stronger here. But we need some recovery time. But fear not. Although muscle soreness may be uncomfortable, it's actually a sign of progress. It indicates that you've challenged your muscles in new ways causing microscopic damage to the muscle fibers. Don't worry, though, because this is all part of the muscle building process. So, if you've ever wondered why your muscles feel sore after an intense workout, now you have a better understanding. Muscle soreness is a natural response to the stress you put on your muscles. And it's a crucial part of your fitness journey. Muscle soreness is your body's way of telling you that you're pushing your limits and making progress. So, keep challenging yourself. Listen to your body. And let's unlock the secrets of understanding muscle soreness together. In the upcoming segments, we'll explore the causes, mechanisms, and strategies for managing muscle soreness. So, stay tuned to learn how to embrace and conquer that post-workout soreness. Exercise-induced muscle soreness, or AMD, is that satisfying ache and tenderness you experience in your muscles after an intense workout. It's a natural response of your body to the physical stress you put on your muscles during exercise. But why does it happen? And what are its effects? When you engage in challenging exercise or activities that your muscles aren't accustomed to, microscopic damage occurs in the muscle fibers. This damage, combined with a buildup of metabolic waste products like lactic acid, triggers an inflammatory response in the muscles, leading to the sensation of soreness. The effects of exercise-induced muscle soreness can vary from person to person, but commonly include muscle tenderness, stiffness, and reduced range of motion. You may find it difficult to perform certain movements or experience discomfort when engaging in everyday activities. However, it's important to note that exercise-induced muscle soreness is temporary and typically resolves within a few days. It's time to shed some light on this popular belief surrounding exercise-induced muscle soreness. In the past, it was widely believed that lactic acid buildup in the muscles during intense exercise was the primary cause of muscle soreness. However, recent research has challenged this theory. During high-intensity exercise, your muscles need energy to perform. They primarily rely on a process called glycolysis, where glucose is broken down to produce energy. As a byproduct of this process, lactic acid is produced. Contrary to popular belief, lactic acid itself is not the cause of muscle soreness. In fact, lactic acid is rapidly cleared from the muscles following exercise. Instead, it is now believed that the accumulation of metabolic byproducts, including hydrogen ions and various metabolites, contributes to muscle fatigue and discomfort. These byproducts can irritate the nerve endings in the muscles, leading to a sensation of soreness. Additionally, they can disrupt the balance of chemicals within the muscle cells, impairing their ability to contract and function optimally. While lactic acid accumulation is not directly responsible for muscle soreness, it does play a role in the fatigue and discomfort experienced during intense exercise. 
As your muscles continue to work and fatigue sets in, the production of lactic acid increases. However, it's important to note that lactic acid is quickly metabolized and removed from the body once exercise ceases. So, my friend, next time you feel that burn in your muscles, remember that it's not solely due to lactic acid. It's a complex interplay of metabolic byproducts, muscle damage, inflammation, and fatigue. It's worth noting that the extent and duration of muscle soreness can vary depending on factors like exercise intensity, duration, and individual differences in muscle adaptation. Delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS, which typically occurs 24 to 48 hours after exercise, is a common form of muscle soreness associated with intense or novel exercise. While muscle soreness can be uncomfortable, it is not necessarily a negative thing. It's a natural response to the physical stress placed on your muscles. And it indicates that your body is adapting and getting stronger. Adequate rest, proper nutrition, and gradually progressing your workouts can help manage muscle soreness and promote recovery. Let's delve into how muscle fiber contraction and stretching can influence muscle soreness. These two factors play important roles in the development and perception of exercise-induced muscle soreness. Muscle fiber contraction during exercise, particularly eccentric contractions, where the muscle lengthens under tension, has been closely linked to muscle soreness. Eccentric exercises, such as downhill running or performing the eccentric phase of weightlifting movements, can lead to more pronounced soreness compared to concentric or isometric exercises. During eccentric contractions, the muscle fibers are forcibly lengthened while generating tension. This places significant stress on the muscle, resulting in greater microscopic damage and disruption to the muscle fibers. The increased mechanical stress and strain on the muscle during eccentric contractions contribute to the development of muscle soreness. Stretching exercises, on the other hand, can also impact muscle soreness. While the relationship between stretching and muscle soreness is not fully understood, it is believed that stretching may help alleviate soreness by promoting blood flow to the muscles and reducing muscle tension. Static stretching, where a muscle is held in a lengthened position for a prolonged period, has been commonly used to reduce muscle soreness. It is thought that static stretching may help increase blood flow and improve nutrient delivery to the muscles. Aiding in the recovery process, dynamic stretching, involving controlled movements that take joints and muscles through a full range of motion, has also shown potential benefits in reducing muscle soreness. Dynamic stretching can help warm up the muscles, enhance flexibility, and prepare them for the demands of exercise, potentially minimizing soreness. However, it's important to note that the effects of stretching on muscle soreness are still a subject of debate among researchers. And individual responses to stretching can vary. Some studies suggest that stretching before exercise may not prevent muscle soreness entirely, but could still offer other benefits like improved range of motion and flexibility. Muscle soreness is a common sensation that occurs as a result of exercise. But there are ways to minimize its impact and help your body recover more smoothly. First off, it's important to gradually progress in your workouts. Avoid jumping into intense exercise routines too quickly. Instead, increase the intensity, duration, and frequency of your workouts gradually. This will prevent excessive muscle damage and reduce the severity of soreness. Before you start your workout, make sure to warm up properly. A good warm-up routine should include dynamic stretching and light cardiovascular activities. This prepares your muscles for exercise and increases blood flow to the working muscles. And after your workout, don't forget to cool down with some light stretching. It helps flush out waste products and promotes muscle recovery. Staying hydrated is also key. Make sure to drink enough water before, during, and after your workouts. Proper hydration supports muscle function and helps prevent cramps and stiffness. Now, let's talk about nutrition. Eating a balanced diet is essential for muscle repair and recovery. Focus on consuming enough protein to support muscle tissue repair. And include carbohydrates to replenish energy stores. On your rest days, consider engaging in active recovery. 
This means doing light, low-impact exercises or activities. It promotes blood flow, which helps flush out waste products, and reduces muscle soreness and stiffness. Massage and foam rolling can be helpful too. These techniques target sore muscles and improve blood circulation, reducing muscle tension and alleviating soreness. Another technique to try is contrast therapy. Alternating between hot and cold treatments can help reduce muscle inflammation and relieve soreness. You can use hot packs or take a warm shower followed by cold water immersion or ice packs. Don't forget the importance of sleep and rest. Your body repairs and recovers during sleep. So make sure you're getting enough quality sleep. Rest and recovery time between workouts are also crucial for minimizing muscle soreness. If needed, over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen can provide temporary relief. However, it's important to use them responsibly and consult with a healthcare professional if necessary. Let's talk about an important topic that often gets overlooked. The potential risks of overtraining and exercise injuries. While exercise is fantastic for our overall health and well-being, it's crucial to find the right balance and avoid pushing ourselves too far. First and foremost, overtraining is a real concern. It occurs when we consistently push our bodies beyond their limits without giving them enough time to recover. Overtraining can lead to a variety of negative effects, including decreased performance, chronic fatigue, sleep disturbances, mood swings, and even an increased risk of injury. One of the common risks of overtraining is an increased susceptibility to exercise injuries. When we continuously stress our muscles, joints, and connective tissues without proper rest and recovery, they become more vulnerable to strains, sprains, and other acute injuries. These injuries can range from minor muscle pulls to more severe ligament tears or stress fractures. Another risk to be aware of is the potential for imbalances in muscle strength and flexibility. Focusing too much on certain muscle groups or neglecting specific areas can create muscular imbalances. These imbalances can lead to faulty movement patterns, altered biomechanics, and an increased risk of injury. Poor technique and form during exercise can also contribute to the risk of injuries. It's essential to learn the proper form for each exercise and prioritize quality over quantity. Performing exercises with incorrect technique puts unnecessary stress on your body and increases the likelihood of strains, sprains, or other injuries. Lack of rest and recovery can exacerbate the risks mentioned earlier. Giving your body adequate time to rest and rebuild is crucial for preventing injuries and maintaining optimal performance. Rest days are not a sign of weakness but rather an essential part of a well-rounded fitness routine. Additionally, it's important to gradually progress in your workouts. Increasing the intensity, duration, or frequency of your exercises too quickly can overwhelm your body and increase the risk of overuse injuries. Gradual progression allows your body to adapt and build strength safely. Proper nutrition and hydration play a significant role in injury prevention as well. A well-balanced diet provides the necessary nutrients for tissue repair and recovery while adequate hydration supports optimal muscle and joint function. To summarize, we have covered a range of important topics related to exercise-induced muscle soreness, including the causes, physiological mechanisms, management strategies, and potential risks. Understanding these factors can help you make informed decisions and take necessary precautions to ensure a safe and effective fitness routine. Thank you for tuning in and taking the time to learn about these important topics. I hope you found the information valuable and insightful. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on fitness and well-being. Remember, your health and safety should always be the top priority. Take care of yourself, listen to your body, and enjoy your fitness journey to the fullest. Until next time, stay active, stay strong, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.